It's this again. Hi. While I have stopped making videos on this, doesn't mean I stopped playing it. Uh, I am trying to get to, I think it's Mystic, I forget exactly what the rank is. Uh, I just realized that <laughs> the month is almost over, and I have not yet gotten there. I'm only on Diamond Tier 4. I got up to, like, I think 2, and then I happened to go against, like, two or three decks that were specifically not going to work with what I was doing. For those who remember the previous decks I had, um, the one I played with before was a straight-up discard. This one's kind of the same thing, only adding a little bit of red for this one for a little bit of removal, getting Crocs in there, some Bedevils, um, Angrath. No one ever really expects this dude to pop out. A um, couple of struggles I've had as far as doing this. I mean, Tegra's pretty good too, or Turgrid, I forget exactly how you say it. Early game removal, I've added some fatal pushes for single target stuff because sometimes I cannot get, like, board clears that I need in time. But it's it's using a little bit of waste knots, a lot of discards, a lot of board wipes so I can get rid of everything that they have on the board. And then I can play my cards. Because while I've tried playing other archetypes, as far as, <clears throat> excuse me, this game goes, I just seem to understand and comprehend discard a bit more because it seems to kneecap potentially all but maybe like one or two sets like because you can go as crazy as you want as far as your deck but if i just get rid of the cards in your hand it doesn't matter what type of deck you have you can't play your cards so i'm going to take a lot of health damage here four damage on turn one. Oh, look at this you are very much a discard deck as well. Now it's going to suck because I do not have a turn to turn, turn two move unless I do this and take more damage. That's I, I, I take a lot of damage early, which kind of sucks. But uh, let's see if I can get the skull right off. Ooh, here we go. I'll make you discard some more. Kind of like playing these games of against other people who discard. It's fun. He's going to keep his mind in mind drain. Yep. So he can get rid of two of my cards, which will probably end up being uh, Fatal Push and Turgrid. Here. Oh, guess not. Uh. Let's see. I think what I want to do. He's going to discard. I should do Skull Raid. Yeah. That way I can potentially hold on to one of these two. Because <laughs> he wants to Mind Drain me. I, I, I have a very strong suspicion he does. Yep. That's why I held on to that card. So, go ahead, Mind Drain me. I'll get rid of Fatal Push. And you and you. Yep, I knew what he was going to do. But now, we're playing this game, where I just tell him to get rid of something or take three damage. And depending on what he's got in his hand, maybe he only had that. So now, I hopefully get a decent card. And we will exile that. And tell you, take three damage. So it's a lot of just getting rid of people's cards in their hands. And hopefully having enough things going on here. He's probably got a land in his hand. Yep. Well, we're just gonna... Do this. This this card is awesome. So we're just gonna be in a... He's got a very good card apparently in his hand. Now we're in a bit of a race. Okay, got rid of the Thoughtseize. We're going to untap. Alright. 
Let's see. I don't think I have anything in my deck so much that he could actually do, but... Which one's he going to take? That one? I really don't have anything. That's fine. You go right ahead. We will play this. We will play this. And I think I've won, unless he gets rid of Zerastan. That's fine. All right. So now I need to get removal. I think this is where I sputter out. He's looking through my deck right now, trying to find something to put in. And there's nothing there. Uh, so what we'll do... This only works. Uh, this is where it sputters out, which kind of sucks. I didn't get any decent cards here. So I guess we're just going to do this. And hope next turn I get some sort of removal. It's not looking like I am, which invariably sucks. All right. So what we're going to do... I have plenty in my... All right. He's going to have to draw a card, hopefully getting some sort of counter. Otherwise, I win. Actually, uh, yeah, we'll just get rid of it. Get rid of that in your hand. And we'll play that. And I, unless he gets a... Uh, what is it? I forget what the word is. <laughs> Hasted. He's just essentially killed himself. And what we'll do, get rid of you. And we'll do no fire, no steel. I guess we won't. So that was too close for comfort. Seems to be a uh, issue on oh, my phone. Give me a sec. Sorry. Very important information. Making a Finnish fish stew. More of a soup. It's like called Loki a Hedo or something like that. I forget exactly what the words for it. But I'm going to be making that later today for dinner. Watch some dude. I think he's a Turkish dude in Germany who's doing like soup videos for some reason. I started watching him. And I don't know. Some Finnish soup sounded interesting to me. All right. So we've got... Uh, should I... Hopefully that pop screen got rid of that exhale I had. See, I should... I need to... It, it, it's very important that I actually do this, because he may have a turn one move, and I don't want him to. Like the Skirt Prospector. Goblin deck. I hate goblin decks. So, I have... Now I just need to get my discard. I have two Fatal Pushes to get rid of the Wily Goblin. I just really need to get uh, another land. And I need to actually get discard, because most of my discard stuff is the turn two thing. Uh, turn three. Well, three mana it costs. Well, he's going to be coming next. And this is where the issue lies, is I've been beaten top deck Muxus. I don't even know exactly what it's called, but okay, Skirk Prospector is dying first. 
Get rid of you. And again, it sucks. I don't have... This is where my deck's going to die now because... I'm not getting any lands. Hooray. And again. More... Non-lands. Well, turn three. This is for only two or less, so I gotta do this. And hope I get a land next turn. <sighs> he's gonna flood the board. Guess he's got four mana. Here we go. Hooray. I really need to get rid of this chieftain. I'm not getting rid of this chieftain. I'm going to lose unless I get nothing. This is the invariably extremely frustrating thing about Magic the Gathering sometimes is when your deck just refuses to give you cards you can use. And Goblin decks suck. Goblin decks suck. I don't know which ones I find more displeasure in playing. Those are the constant counters. Actually, I think I hate the Goblins more because constant counters, they can actually chew through all their counters and then finally overcome that goblins now very much dislike man I'm getting a lot of thought seizes off the off the bat here this is a pretty strong start uh let's see well you're a problem I don't think I'm hmm. another doom foretolds are a problem as well Let's see. Uh, I think I can get around that. I mean, if I get another Thought Seize, then I very much around that, but I didn't. So what we'll do, Burglarette. Hopefully I get another land on my next turn. They're probably Doom Foretold. He wants to keep Shalai. Oh, got rid of it. All right, so. Next. Okay, he did not have anything for this drop, so I'll probably Mind Drain. Or I could Burglar Rat. Uh, He's going to have something next turn, and I'm hoping I can get a land by next turn. I doubt I will. Hmm. I need to get these on the board so they can die. So if I do Croxes, I can uh, have stuff to escape them. Well, here's hoping I get a land. I mean, it's kind of okay if I don't get a land, but I really kind of need a land. Got a good thing in his hand. He's probably debating whether or not to keep that one or that one. I hope he gets rid of Shalai, so, or Shalai, whatever the hell it's called. Oh, it didn't. All right, so. I get a land. The Righteous Valkyrie will be targeted next. I doubt I will uh, get a land because Murphy's Law dictates I won't. So what could he potentially have? Probably heals. I don't think he's got anything for removal. Yeah, alright, that's what I thought. Now give me a land, you piece of shit. This, this game sometimes, I swear to Christ. I'm getting mad. I don't want to get mad. Well, he's got something else next turn. We'll do this. Get stuff in the graveyard. God damn it. Now my deck's going to die. Because I'll probably get another unusable card. I don't know if I end up not getting land more often than another thing. No oh, treacherous blessing. Interesting. All right, so I really need a land. 
I really need a land. Please give me a land. Okay. You have to attack. There's no reason for you not to. Okay. Land. Thank you. All right. Elspeth's Nightmare. We'll get rid of you on the board. I'll get a discard and an exile out of that next. Uh, depending on what you play next, um, I'll probably mind drain, although you get, you are getting card draw now. And you will be, because you apparently have enough spells. Let's see. Um, another Resplendent Angel, huh? Uh, I can't get rid of everything in your hand. But we'll do this. Let's see if you attack. Or block. If you block, then I'll fatal push. Alright, perfect. Next damage. Fine. Fatal push you, and then we'll do Croxa. And he'll keep the Resplendent Angel... Well, well, yeah, he really doesn't need to. He's got two Mastermind Acquisitions. He does have enough for that. So, I mean, he should probably get something on the board. I guess. <clears throat> um, putting a card from outside your... outside the game in your hand is a bit of an issue. Because then he can go ahead and find whatever he needs. And unless I get... Well, there's nothing I wait... Well... Please play the mastermind thingamajig. Okay, he didn't. That's unfortunate for you, buddy. I don't know why you didn't play that. But now we're going to get rid of what's in your hand. Okay, I can bring a Croxa back next turn. Another Treacherous Blessing. You draw three cards. You're going to be taking two damage constantly now, every time you play something. You've got something in your hand. I don't know why you're not playing it. Perhaps you're keeping it for the Croxa. We'll find out. I really wish I had waste knots to kind of get a bit of value out of this, but I'm not. More Valkyries. Um, depending on what you play next, I'll probably do Elvis Reborn. Let's see what you got. Another mat. Okay. I really need to get a uh, thing to make you lose two cards because you just search for a thing. Unfortunately, I didn't get it. So next, what I will do is this. All right, what we're going to do is draw. All right. He's uh, probably got board wipe, I'm guessing. Yeah, dual foretold. That's fine. Uh, he bought himself some time. Uh, I need him to put something on the board so I can hit him. I wish that that's that's a bit unfortunate. That's fine. Let's see what I get. Nothing of use. Well, that's fine. We'll just uh, hit you in the face. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So how many was that? Was that one or was that two or three? Either way, we'll uh, we'll do one more. I'll probably lose this one. But I seem to be stalling out. I don't know if it's because I should focus more on early game, late game. 
more on waste knots. Is waste knots even a, a, a waste knots is useful? Um, I do hope I get a land. I'm gonna keep this. Make them think I'm a weird red deck. Hopefully you have something turn one. It's probably elves. It's always elves. It wasn't. Okay, you're a discard deck, are you? Fine. It's probably rogues of sorts. You're gonna do uh, thought seas. Not thought seas. Well, yeah, thought seas or uh, whatever that other thing is. Doesn't matter. I will take care of it. It is I who is seizing, seizing your thoughts. Uh, octopus, go away. Some sort of mutate control deck. Might as well get rid of your lands. You have no reason to keep them. Uh, let's see. Okay. We do have an eliminate. He kept that. Interesting. Uh, if I get a land, I know what I'm doing next. I did get a land. So what we'll do is pay two life. We will do this. And just start the discard train. Uh, we'll do Cry of the Canary. Go away. He'll probably hold on to the Eliminate and get rid of one of his lands. This way I have Bedevil. Although he may have his... Uh... I, I still think he probably has a Thought Erasure or a Thought Season or somewhere. Okay, he didn't... I'm just going to get rid of everything in your hand. We're doing things my way. And now it's all gone. Let's see what you had. Ooh, Massacre Worm and a... Uh... Interesting. All right. We will Skull Raid. Get back two cards. We will get rid of a Thought Seize. Integrid will be coming out next. Sorry for your loss. Although I can do an emblem now, and uh, I'll take the Massacre Worm and uh, put him in the game. So we will do this. We will do this. Uh, I want a graveyard. I want. Get rid of you. Massacre Worm, go. I'll attack. Alright. This one went well. Let's see. If he kills it, goes into the graveyard, I instantly get it. So what we'll do is this. Just, this one went amazingly. Uh, let's see. We'll do Archipelago. <laughs> Why the fuck not? <laughs> oh, when this deck kneecaps people, it's great. So yeah, that's just a quick little bit of me trying actually to get um, to Mythic, I doubt I will. But you've seen how well this deck can be, how bad it can be. And I'm hoping, well, actually, I've got, I think, actually, today and tomorrow left to maybe get to it. I doubt I will. But, yeah, I think I'm going to be doing a tour of some other games I got uh, that I can actually record and have them render well with the video card I have. Either way, go enjoy your day. I'll see you later, folks. Goodbye.